Uh, did you know that turtles can fly? No, they can't. I don't know about you, but my, I sure sent my turtle flying. What? I... I my... <laughs> you said turtles can't fly. Uh-huh. But I said I sent mine flying. I... Th I threw the turtle. That wasn't very nice. It's... I mean, I, I thought you said you had a funny joke to start It this. is a funny <laughs> joke. No, it's not. It's cruelty to animals. No, I think I think what went wrong there <laughs> is you didn't laugh. Because I didn't think it was funny. If you had laughed, it would have been a much funnier joke, so... What, do you want to try it again? No, no, it's, <laughs> it's already out there. Yeah. We're just going to continue on our way. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You. It's fine. Just shoot but me But I like down. to be authentic for the listeners. I would prefer I, you I to be authentic. I don't like being fake. Fake Jake. That's a good rhyme. Wow. <laughs> you're... You're, We're on fire today you're already. You're really on fire. We're really on fire. <laughs> All right, I can take off this crossbow since I didn't end up using it. You never used the crossbow? No, nah, we we couldn't figure out how. Remember? Oh, that's right. We tried. Okay, we're on our way to the wonderful Wizard of Oz. He, we hear because, he, because 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 he's got the candy and we <laughs> like the candy. <gasps> Oh my gosh! What is that? You've seen it before. No, I have not yes, seen you that. Have. No, I have not. <gasps> Look at its face. He's a hippo cyclops. I would remember a hippo cyclops. No, I don't really believe that. Um, you're just bitter because I didn't laugh at your flying turtle. That truck. may be the truth, <laughs> but you don't have to say it. Well, say it better than spray it. Yeah, don't spray it, please. Oh, he's really angry. Oh, he went down. Yeah, he gone. Now, I do like his shield. He's a pushover. I like that sun emblem because I'm a sun worshiper. Just like Solaire. Who's Solaire? One of the most loved characters in this game. Like I said, like Solaire. Yeah. It's a big scary mountain. isn't mansion. that kind of creepy the way it was slow? Yeah. Opened. Oh, I got uh I'm going to make the screen a little dizzy for you for okay. just a second. Okay, I got it. Oh. Oh. I, gotta, I gotta fix this joystick. It sucks. Okay, I'm not sucks. looking. Tell me when I can look again. I will. So anyway, I was watching a movie before I came in here. I haven't finished it, but it's called Wish. <laughs> Everyone Disney. knows. Everyone knows Disney's Wish. Okay. Well, anyway, I thought it was going to be so magical because I love the song. That's the premise of it. You can look again. But, and it was pretty cool up until the star came from heaven and <laughs> the trees could talk that that was what you don't think the animals talking, talking is magical was okay all right I, I like animals i like to hear what they think but the trees talking and everybody singing the same song when they've never spoken before that just seemed like a lot to me that's just kind of how musicals work though isn't it everyone um, knows the same song and they all start kick dancing and yeah but hit it by seems cars. more legit when it's people and, and not animals trees and people I guess that's true. A tree, if, if it's a tree's first thoughts, I doubt it knows the lyrics to My Way by Frank Sinatra. Probably not. And it is my way. Look at this place. Ooh. This is Aldia's Keep. It looks like someone's been murdered here. I'm sure plenty of people have been murdered here because a lot of experimentation went on. What? We're going to see a lot of creepy creatures. So this is like a mad scientist kind of thing? Yeah, it's the brother of King Vendrick, Aldia. Oh, he was evil, huh? Look, this thing's rattling. Uh-oh, don't open it. Nah, it doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Isn't that the guy that just keeps showing up? Nah, this is a different guy. How come they're always black and red? Are uh, they related? That's how you know it's a uh, invader. Oh, okay. All invaders are oh, black and red. Oh, he hit us. Yeah, don't worry, he gone. He'll be gone. So you can't open the shimmying wagon? I wouldn't want to. I don't know what's don't in there. Don't come knocking if the wagon's rocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Look, a giant dragon skeleton. Love dragons. It's an amazing skeleton for all to enjoy. That really is quite fantastic. In the original game, it attacks you when you first walk in. That they, would be horrific. They changed it for whatever reason. 
All right. Oh my, that's one of those hippo things, isn't it? Yeah, we gotta use a branch of yore to unpetrify him. Why would we unpetrify him? So we can get through. Ah, he fell on me. I just climb over him. He fell on me, fuel efficiency, on fumes, I'm running, running, running. I didn't realize you were such a poet. No, nah, it's 21 Pilatos. I like 21 Pilatos. It's 21 Pilates. I don't know if I like Pilates, I've never done it. I don't even know what it is. It's some form of exercise, I believe. Be a man. Or woman. Or, I was gonna say, or I know, a woman. I know, okay, I'm inclusive. I'm just, I'm just following behind. Okay, so when Look, I was a kid... A giant oh! chimera. That's kind of cute, though. It's ugly and scary. I like it. When I was a kid, there li this lady lived next door, and she was old. And so her name was Grandma Eck, but I called her X because I couldn't quite make it out because I was like three or four years old. Yeah, you should have been able to do that, I'm just saying. Anyway, that when I saw those cages, it reminded me of her because she had a ton of birds in cages. Yeah. And I was both amazed and terrified at the same time of the birds. I would be too. So I completely understand. Oh, there's somebody hiding behind that. Yeah, there's some people behind some of the paintings. Can they get out on their own, or do you have to let them out? Nah, they'll jump you, but I know where they are, so. You also, are so look, crafty. There's a bunch of monsters in cages above us. I can't see any monsters. Uh, there's a big bug there. There's another oh. hippo guy. Who's catching all these guys? Aldia. Did we ever see Aldia? Uh, we've seen him before. He's that weird, like, root creature. Oh, that the jumps. root, yeah. Yeah. Just shows up uninvited. That guy's not happy up there. Now, what would you be if you were in a cage? Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. I've never been in a cage. Well, we could try it tonight. I'd prefer not to. We could get one of those pet carriers and shove you in. Uh, no. That might be fun. Look, a secret door. <gasps> I love secret doors. To a doors. bonfire. Awesome. I know, right? Pretty nifty. Very nifty. Very convenient. Convenience is key. It is key. That's how you get through the store. Okay. <laughs> the convenience store. Yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, pretty good, right? <laughs> I'd rather not say. You should say yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes, Thank indeed. You. Thank you very much. Well, I try to... Oh, there's that thing rocking again. Look, it's Is another... That oh. I'm kind of sick of the hippo dudes. We need somebody new. Well, there's a lot of them here, so, you know. Woo! Oh, I don't watch out. I'm trying. There's so many creepy... Lord quality. help me, I'm trying. I'm trying to not die. What's with all the green bottles? But then there's another one over here. Should you drink something out of those green bottles? Nah, it's just science in a bottle. And then there's another one that jumps out there. Ooh! We can just run past him. Thank goodness. The next boss is over here. Over here, over there, Let's as see. we hit the dusty trail. Let's see the guardian dragon. Oh, look. I love dragons. This one, I have never fought. He's got fought. a bird beak. Yeah. They are is avian. Is he bird? Probably. Just don't let him poop on you. Magic is the best way to fight him, but we don't have magic. Well, that sucks. At least no magic that's good against him. We have fire magic, but I doubt fire is good against a fire dragon. You know, if you were in wish, all you'd have to do is make a wish. Foundation. And then you could be magic. Crap. If the evil guy would grant your wish. Look, it's a lot of Ooh, fire. It's a lot of fire. But then he comes back down and it broke his brow, and Jill it came tumbling after. What? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking. Okay. Because you're you not making any jokes. Excuse me? Yeah. First he tells me my dog can't be in here. <laughs> it's because then he, he tells me like. that I can't chew gum because I smack it. And now he's telling me I have no jokes. Huh. I'm sorry. I haven't put you down or held anything back from you. It's because I'm perfect. No, it's because I'm a nice person <laughs> and you're not. That's true, too. I know. Now, this guy was a lot easier than I thought he was going to be. We did it. Woo! First boss down. Huzzah. Huzzah. Hizzity, hizzity. Hizzity, shizzity, zah. Hizzity, wizzity. Hizzity, pizzity, wizzy, fizzy. That, uh -huh. That's a good group of words right there. Yeah, thank you. I am impressed. Thank you kindly. I do my best. Now we're going to see a ton more dragons. Oh, I like dragons, so I'm digging this. We're going to the dragon's airy. Ooh. I think that's what it's how it's pronounced. I don't know. I'm not a limerick man. 
You kicked my bladder. And I'll do it again. You better not. Can I do it again. I don't think so. We freaking made it, boys. You pull back a bloody stub. A dragon airy. Ooh. Look at all oh, of them. Look. It's so oh cool looking. Oh my looking. gosh, that is awesome. We don't have to fight any of them either. We don't? Nope. I did accidentally smack her in the face with the microphone earlier. In the eye. Right in the eye. It was an accident, so therefore it's so okay. So he says. It was an accident, quote okay. unquote. Well, it wasn't your eye that nailed. I got a nail in my eye. No, I got a nail in my eye. I got a nail in my eye. No, I got a nail in my eye. Ladies and gentlemen, vote down below in the comments who got a nail in their eye. You better say Mama Tess because that's the truth. I don't know about that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I, but I don't know about much else either. No, you don't. I want to ride on a track. Uh, well, we're not going to. No, that makes me sad. That rope basically lets us skip all of Dragon Airy. We're already moving on to the next place. Wow. Yeah. Well, that was fast. It wasn't in the original game. They added it for this one for some reason. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we can move on with the game. Whoop, whoop. And we're at another bonfire Ooh, a dragon already. shrine. Yeah. Oh, oh There's that Aldia. was wicked. This is Aldia. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. What yeah, did he humans, say? Humans struggle with curses and all that jazz. What's my choice? Sure, why not? We'll pay more attention in Dark Souls 3. Uh, okay, you promised. If it, Whenever we play Dark Souls 3, we'll... Make it the big, the big finale to the Dark Souls games. All right. This guy's cool, but he's really slow. Yeah. It's yeah, the big guys. They think they're the best, but when you get bigger, you get slower. It's the little guys you got to watch out for. Uh, it depends. The no, big it ones hit harder. I just said it. So oh, stop. Okay. So you see these dragon warriors over here? Oh, those are cool. They are extremely difficult, but if you just fight the big black knight, they'll respect you, and you won't have to fight them. That's how it is in real life. If you run past the Black... You take out the big guy, everybody else is like, he's cool, man. Yeah. But if you run past the Black Knight, they'll all chase you because you have no honor. Well, we're all about honor here. We are. We are part of the honor society. because I don't want to fight you. these guys. They're scary. They are scary. Those antlers were cool, though. Or horns, whatever. Here's whichever. the next one. <gasps> he's humongous. He has a big hammer. Don't Ooh. hit me, sir. No, you it's not about hitting you. It's about don't squash me. Yeah, don't squash my little delicate heart. Uh, does this lead somewhere? No, it's just a dent in the wall. Like my head. You do have some dents in your head. It's because I wear headphones. That's the only reason. Cer certainly isn't because my parents dropped me when I was a kid or anything. Certainly not. Now, we did slam your head into a piece of furniture and split an ear. Yeah. We did dislocate your elbow fighting over who loved you the most. <laughs> As a joke, it wasn't real. Um, we did something else to you. I'm sure there was way more than just those. You, you have a few of these emergency room stories. I've got some scars from my parents to prove yeah? it. Yeah? Oh, and when your dad slammed open your hand with a sledgehammer. Yep, still got that scar. Yep. Gotta love it. Well, I always thought scars were cool because it shows that you've lived some life. They are. It's the it's the name of the villain in The Lion King, so therefore it is cool. Stay away, big man. Thank you. Well, I liked it, but he was kind of edging over there. Yeah, he was edging. Backing away. He's terrified edging of Edging that crazy. So, oh, his shield is weird. It's a door. It's a tower shield. Yeah, it's weird. My son hit me in the head with a hammer, and it, gosh darn it, it hurt. It hurt bad. It hurt real bad. It dented my brain. I see purple now. What's wrong uh, with the seeing purple? No, the problem is I didn't see it before. <laughs> <laughs> I was colorblind. He fixed my sight. <laughs> Hayden there gave me a colorblindness test and said I failed. So you're colorblind. Well, in the blues and greens, I guess I have trouble. <laughs> oh, so I put this new app on my phone. To help track my mood and other things. Yeah. And there was a test to see if you have AD, ADD. All right? Yeah. And so I took the test. And you know what it said? You failed? Yes, miserably. Or did you pass? Well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Because the average person scores a 2.8 for their ADD. Uh-huh. I was a 17. Dang. <laughs> 
So to say I have ADD would be an understatement. An understanding statement. Yes. And so if I say things that don't make sense, look at you and say something or look another way or can't sit still or snap my gum, it's because I have ADD. Yeah. And there should be understanding. Is the opposite of understanding over sitting? Yes. Dragon Fang Willard. Did you make that up? No, that's what his name. Oh, no, Villard. I was going to say. Willard was that rap movie. Did you ever see that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. And Michael Jackson did a song for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, it's about this guy that has no friends and he befriends a rat. That's relatable. And then the rat brings all its rat friends and they attack people and kill people so he makes even more friends that's a beautiful story yeah i guess but then the rat dies and the boy is sad that's how every movie ends the rat dying look at this that's majestic it's a lot of drag that we just have to fight this one guy oh that would be so fun fighting someone on stairs no getting married there why is it always getting married i don't know well a party where I can be the princess. Is there going to be some twinkle lights, too? Well, there won't be Twinkies, that's Yeah, for sure. I'll eat them all, and I will have Hunter a Hunter has attack. an addiction to Twinkies. That's not good. It's actually quite unhealthy. I bought him a 16-pack, because I thought I was doing something sweet. You were. I and loved it. And he ate four Twinkies a day for four days, and they were gone. I think there was like six in one day, but the average was four a day. Them like them Twinkies. I do. They make my belly f do the happy dance. And I warned the people at the grocery store. I told them the story of Hunter. Thank you for spreading my... Uh, and uh, they thanked me for warning point. them. They thanked me for warning them about the econo-sized Twinkies. Econo-sized? I told them if they wanted to get regular Twinkies, that'd be all right. But don't get a 16-pack because it's dangerous. Yeah, you'll get addicted. That's and what you'll I told them. waste all your money buying more to feed your addiction. And then I had to buy the special cat food for Oreo. Yeah. And the bag was just, I mean, just outside my reach. Just outside. Just. And so I thought if I could find something long and strong, I could work the bag towards me to get it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking all through the toys of cats, and none of it's strong enough to move the bag. So there's this gentleman standing looking at something else, and I kind of walked over and le leaned over and said, Sir, excuse me, could you help me? And he turned and looked at me, and when he saw me, his face just lit up. It was the sweetest moment of my life, I think, because <laughs> he was really pleased to see me. He didn't even know who I was. So I said, he goes, well, sure, what do you need? I said, could you get that cat food for me? So sure enough, he did. All right. Very, very gallantly. Very awesome. And then I explained to him that he saved me because my 18-year-old cat would have been ticked off if I'd come home without the special food. Oreo's 18? Isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, because Hayden was two when we got him, and That's Hayden's insane. 20. He's 18 years old. If we lasts... got him as a wee little kitten. He's anyway, an I'm fart. finishing my story. Okay, continue. So I was explaining that the 18-year-old cat would have been ticked off if I had not come home with the food. Yeah. And so this very handsome, kind man says, I have a cat, and he vomits like every third day. He goes, I don't know what, what's going on. I said, well, that's what our cat was doing, mm -hmm. and we got this gentle food, and he seems to be much better. He goes, but does he like it? I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. They he all loves eat it. it. I said, Fight all of other. our cats eat it. Dogs too. So I <laughs> I recommended it to him. Yeah. And I think he went and got a bag. Well, that's good. It tastes great. How do you know? So I've heard. Uh-huh. Wipe sweat off brow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've been eating cat food. Look at this. Yeah, let's switch the subject. Oh, he's majestic. But what happened to his undercarriage? He's an ancient dragon. He looks ancient. He needs a good scrubbing. He's talking to us. Oh, what's he saying? First shoes and stairs, yet another stands before us. Then so be it. For the curse of life is the curse of one. And so you peer into the fire of hope of answers. Hooray, we got something. Okay, so that's the end? That's all he said? Yeah. I we, think there should have been a little bit more. We could fight him, but I'm not going to. No, because he's, look, his undercarriage is so bad. He's just mossy. 
It's a little mossy. He just needs a little love and tenderness. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't know where to go next. I didn't think we'd get here this quickly. So I'm gonna look it up real quick. To the giant, the giant To the giant. Lord, to it, the giant. Is it the jolly green giant or is this gonna be a horrifying a giant? A horrifying giant. All right, I'm ready. Yeah. I bought a toilet to go camping. Yeah. And I made everybody sit on it just to make sure it was sturdy. I straight up just pooped all over it. You did not. And Hunter had to hold my hands while I sat down. So later I told my youngest son that he was my potty buddy when we go camping. And he flat out refused to be my buddy. I understand that. I don't. I'm a woman whose balance isn't the best. <laughs> You're I'm the only challenge. woman in this tribe of men. We are quite the tribe. I'd say top three in the world, probably. That's just me. That's just you. Ooh, don't fall off the edge. Good job. I will never fall off the edge. I've seen you fall off edges, so I've don't be getting all uppity fallen. with me. I ain't never fallen. You fallen. I see you fallen. You have to produce the symbol of the king. Yeah, I know. I gotta put the king's ring on. There we go. It's a good thing I'm here to help. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. I'm smart. Are you? Uh-huh. You really are. Oh, I like it. I'm glad you agree with me on that one. I do agree. Oh, there's a chest we never got. Be careful. It's not a mimic. If it it's had a heavy. lock on the front, it would be. And we're going into this giant's memories. His memories? Yep. Are we in his brain? I have no idea what's about to happen. <gasps> you look like a ghost. Oh, That so was cool. And look. Mace. <laughs> <laughs> that protects women. Look, it's all black and white now. Wow. Yeah. So he doesn't remember in color. No, it's because he's old. All right, we got to run through this war zone. Hopefully not get hit. That so we're just watching the memories of battles he's been in. No, nah, we're going to fight the guy whose memories these are. Oh, Ow. holy cow. Oh, wait, you're not the one we want. Watch out. I'm trying. Man, this is intense. It is. There he is. Oh, The giant goodness. lord. Oh. I'm pretty sure he's kind of easy. Like, people use him to grind up souls. You can get, like, 400,000. chicken wings as pants? I don't know what they wore back in the day. I think they're chicken wings. I don't think Louis Vuitton makes anything big enough for this guy. I know he doesn't, because Louis Vuitton would <laughs> not have him wearing chicken wings. You know Louis? I do. Huey, and Louie Huey, and Dewey? <laughs> Huey, Louie. Yeah. And Huey, Louie, and Dewey, the too. The three little ducks have no personality. Who has no personality? Huey, Louie, and Dewey. Oh, he well, was... they're rascally a little bit. They like to irritate right. their Uncle Donald. There we go. Giant Lord's dead. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> that was really easy. How do I get out of here now? You don't. We're trapped. Oh, I talked to this thing. It's dead. Yeah, and I talked to it. You can talk to you can talk to things. I don't know why I got uppity. Rude. Somewhere under the blankets, I'm don't alone. Do that. What? I, I wasn't going to make an inappropriate joke. I thought you were going to say something about farting. I wasn't going to do that either. We make too much fart and poop jokes. You shouldn't fart under a blanket with someone and pull the blanket over their head. That is really Or you awful. should, and it's really funny. If you don't like them, you should. Yeah. But if you ever want to be friends with them, don't ever do that. You should always whisper. Because she's quiet. Okay. It's called peace. Here's something that irritates me. Yeah. I'm at work. Okay? Yeah. And I'm working. And I'm listening to Spotify because I need some tunes. And now the whole big thing in advertising is whispering. Yeah. I hate it. Why? It, it Because I hate it. Why? It sounds creepy. Like they're trying to be sexy or something. Yeah. No, just tell me about the product. Leave your sex at home. I don't need to hear about it at work. I guess so. I don't like whispering. I don't know why, but it does. It you sets would, me off. You would hate ASMR then. Who? ASMR. Who's ASMR? It's a it's, it's a genre where they just whisper in your ears for like an hour. They whisper in your ears? Yeah. About what? 
depends on the person making the video. Sometimes it's just them going like, and sometimes it's... And people want to hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that? Sometimes. Helps me sleep sometimes. All right, well, tonight I'm going to sneak in your room and whisper in your ears. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Tell you something that I might like to hear. It's free real estate. <laughs> oh, my Lord. All right, you want to know something uh, cool? Yes. Uh, the final boss is through this door. <gasps> the final boss? We we're might done? Act, I think we're going to beat the game today. No way! Yeah. I'm not ready! I wasn't either. I didn't think we'd go this far. I'm not dressed for this momentous occasion. Okay, there's going to be two... There's a boss that's two people, and then immediately after, there's the final boss, Nashandra. The boss's name is Chandra? Nashandra. Oh, because I was going to say, I know somebody named Chandra. Look, her hood's down. She's emo from... A emo? Hot Topic. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. You Just kidding. Know. I don't. Because I don't know what you're talking about. The Throne of Want. The final area. I have area. sat on the Throne of Want, let me tell you. My toilet's the Throne of Want because I always want to poop, but I have a terrible stomach. Okay, quit talking about poop. I'm sorry. It's just the first thing that comes to my head. I bet girls can't wait to talk to you on they, the they phone. They can't. I've got a whole line of them outside right now. Just say poop to me, Hunter. <laughs> say it again, Dex. <laughs> Could you please whisper poop? <laughs> Poopy, poopy, poop, poop. Poopy, poop, poop, poop. Poop. Gotta love the poop in the final area of Dark Souls 2. <laughs> what a momentous occasion. Very momentous. My fingernail polish is bad right now. I'm sorry. And I'm going... Okay, my birthday is Tuesday. Okay, you keep talking. I'm going to go pee. And I am being taken out for dinner by my best friend because she's she's nice that way. She's, she's taking me out for some dinner. And I think I should probably do my nails before we go. Maybe people don't care. I don't know. But I think if she's going to spend money on me, I should probably look good. So I think after we finish this, I will do my nails. Not that you really care, but that's what I'll be doing. And I often wonder, what do you guys do? What do you do for fun besides Dark Souls? If you want to put it in the comments and let me know what you do, I would love that. Because I just like to hear from you guys. I don't know why. I just think it's interesting. So what year is it? It is the year 2525. I think I fell into a time vortex while I was in there. Yeah, you've been gone for quite a while. Was, we thought you were dead. It felt like years. But we're so glad you're back. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Here they are. Oh, there's the two people. One's got a really wonky beard. And the other one's a, you know, a woman. Oh, well, you have a woman. Good. The final boss is a woman, too. Well, all I can tell you is, what's that dragon game we played? Dragon Veil. No. Spyro? Yes. They need some women over in Spyro. So oh, maybe yeah. some of these women could travel over there. Maybe, hopefully. Spyro is anti-women. Well, I wouldn't say that. Did you see one woman in there? No. Okay. That's called anti-womanism. Oh. I thought it was just called sexism. Well, I just made up a new word. Oh, okay. That's cool. Eventually, we'll all be slaves to science. We'll all be science. in cages. Waiting for them to do science experiments on us. Yeah. Sounds fun. No, it does not. I guess it depends on the individual. I am claustrophobic. Being in a cage would not be an ideal scenario for me. If you don't kill them at the same time, they'll revive the other one at full health. They have to die at the same time? How are you going to do that? Hurry, kill this person before she can revive her brother. Shoot. She done revived to fight him. No, she hasn't. Okay, sweet. Yeah, she has. I we told did it. You. Oh, you killed him. Okay, now the Chandra is gonna happen immediately after. Na 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 Chandra. The Chandra looks awesome. I know a comedian called Chandra Pierce. She's funny. I don't know anyone. That's okay. You know me. Yeah, and that's pretty dope. Yeah, it is pretty dope. Here comes the Chandra. Uh oh. Here comes oh, the Chandra. Oh, feel the anticipation. The final boss of the game. Brave undead, you have proven yourself to me. She's cool. Oh, she is cool. Oh, you see all those skulls? Yeah. She's dope. I love her design. I do, too. She's very H.R. Geiger. What's H.R. Geiger? Some guy who's a writer, I think. 
we're gonna be one, one with, the, with dark. the dark. I don't want to be one with the dark. Well, then we just gotta kill her so that doesn't happen, huh? Well, then kill her. Yes, ma'am. I don't know how to fight this chick. I'm just gonna do what I do best. So are those tentacles or part of her dress? Shoot. Uh, it's. I guess I'll just. It's just her. Oh, that didn't really answer my question, but okay. We gotta lure her out of those like floating orb things. If you're inside Here of them, you comes. get cursed. Here she comes. Wow, that thing really goes deep. It do, it do. It's a sharp little bugger. It sure is. Son. I'm cursed again. Oh, I thought your butt hurt. It looked like you were rubbing your butt. Ah, she piccolo beamed me. That's no good. She what? Piccolo beamed. I don't know what that means. You don't know piccolo? Piccolo is an instrument. He's also a green guy from uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I wouldn't know that. We're about to beat the game. Like Are in, you kidding me? Yeah. Kind of a mediocre final. Oh my lord. You better be that careful. That is a very, very small sliver of health. You best be careful. Uh, get out of those things. Let me kill you. Well, she then, doesn't want to die. And then I'll finally beat Dark Souls she 2 for the first evil time. She has more to inflict upon men so she can finish her dress <laughs> with their skulls. She's like, um, what's that chick from 101 Dalmatians? Cruella de Vil. Yeah, she's like the Cruella de Vil of Dark Souls. Yes, she's got to finish her dress with the skeleton and there we go. of men. The game just got beat. Wow, I can't believe it. We did Good it. job. Dark Souls 2. Felt That's a lot. two down. Felt a lot less climactic than yeah, Dark Souls 1. Yeah, it wasn't 1. quite as intense as, you know, the well, first game, but... Well, it's probably because we didn't think we were going to beat it tonight. Well, and we're pretty casual today. We're cash. We are. It's a cash Here Friday. we go, the final cutscene. Ooh. We're going to go into the Earth's butthole and reside. <laughs> the Earth's butthole. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. What are these things? Headless giants who were born to be a bridge. Oh, wouldn't that be sad if your whole life was just a bridge? <laughs> Look at them, they have no faces. Like a bridge. Like over a bridge in Dark Souls. Waters. There's the old man still dead in the waters. Oh, and they butt their head. Well, yeah, look, they're a bridge. Where their heads would be. I got a squirrel on a treadmill where gonna, my heart should oh, be. Oh, you're going to walk on them? Yeah, they're a bridge. Look at us. Aren't oh. we so epic? Souls will flourish in you, and all We're doing it. We're beating the game. Souls will flourish. Yeah. Look, the anus will open and accept us. Oh, no anus shield. No, and it's, it's no a, anus shield's necessary. And it's welcoming. It's Look very. At it. it's, it's enticing. It us. Smells like peony in there. Nice little peony smell. Do you know what the peony smell like? Yeah, I'm saying it's alluring. It's not good. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's alluring. Say, butt doesn't smell like a peony. Well, if you spray peony scent on it, it will. Oh, well, you got me there. I can't argue. I'd like to argue, but and I. And there we go. Is that the throne? Yep. We are Is becoming. Is this the throne of want? I think so. Take we're, your throne. We're about so to if become. if we sit on it, do we get whatever we want? I don't know. What do you want? I want a stomach that doesn't have any trouble. What do you want? I want to be thin. What lies ahead? We could just trade. Okay. Wait, no, that doesn't benefit either of us. How does it not benefit I, neither of us? I don't know, but look, we're being sealed away forever. In the butt of the earth? Yeah. We're just going to sit in there forever? I think so. That's how the game ends. We get sealed in a little butthole and then we're so done. So we get the throne, but we're sealed in a butt for the rest of our lives. Yes. That doesn't seem like a very big prize. I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, don't you want to sit on the butthole throne? Not now. Uh oh. I did, but I don't anymore. Thanks wow. for the game, everyone. Yeah, thanks, everybody. This was awesome. It was cool. Hunter, you did a great job. Thank you. I thought this was going to last longer, Thank but I guess not. Thank you for sharing your talent and your wit and your victorious killings with I us. I try, I try. You're inspirational, son. You're inspirational, mother. Well, I'm something, but we'll go with inspirational. I'll say inspirational. Oh, well, thank you. Because you're pretty dope. Oh, Not going to lie. Thank you. You're welcome. What a good boy.
you have anything you want to say for the very last joke? <sighs> Why did you have to say joke? Because then that puts pressure on well, me yeah, and I can't think of You gotta of make them laugh. We can't just have everyone crying their eyes out at the well, end of the Well, then you're series. gonna have to do it because now I'm pressurized. Uh, I just flew in from the Bahamas and boy are my arms <laughs> tired. <laughs> 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 what a high quality ending. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned Bye. for new things. <laughs>